Hello all, welcome to Fluid Shots. Today we will be discussing about golf ball dynamics. Golf ball dimples and their impacts on the ball traveling through air is best described by the study of fluid mechanics. So before diving right into the fluid mechanics, let's have a sneak peek into its rich history. So history of dimples and dynamics. So there has been a long illustrious history and not only in which the golf ball has changed drastically in materials and aesthetics but also in its construction directly relating to its dynamics and trajectory. So golf balls were originally made from wood as that was the most easily and fabricated material available around there. So these wooden balls would travel a distance something less than 100 yards. So 100 yards would roughly convert yourself into 90 to 91 meters. So then some golf enthusiasts, they did some brainstorming. They came to this picture. They came up with boiled goose and chicken feathers, which were tightly wrapped inside a leather pouch or a cover. Then it went to a gutta percha, which was an elementary rubber available back then so this is how that kind of ball looked like so it was in some 1800s early 1900s during that time then they went on to uh, have sap from malaysian trees those were also used to make those golf balls and now the modern golf ball is made up of natural latex and this beautiful dimple surfaces uh, adopted to stabilize the flight of the golf balls so you can see how this, uh, you know, the balls started from very elementary wooden balls to some leather kind of arrangements. And then now you have this modern day, super complicated and completely in accordance with the aerodynamics. Let's move on to the next, that is the norms. So the United States Golf Association is one of the oldest association, right? So let's uh, understand uh, some of the basic like what is the dia of this ball and it's something roughly around 4.3 centimeters and the weight is like something 45 46 grams a very tiny ball but what is what it is doing it is doing wonders and it's doing wonders in such a way that we are here making up a session and uh, and we are here to understand the beauty uh, of the science which is acting behind uh, this flight of this beautiful ball so basically nowadays the modern golf ball is a two-piece or a three-piece arrangement with the core which comes very tight uh, by having windings across it so more the core is compressed longer will be its flight as there will be less deformation of the ball at impact so energy transfers from the club club is the uh, bat kind of thing with which you hit the golf ball so that energy transfer gets maximized right so we just had a basic idea about its history rich history some of the basic norms the dimensions uh, of the ball and now i think we are good to go we are uh, we have uh, done our prerequisites now we can uh, understand the beauty of its dimples and its dynamics so dimples and its evolution so after being aware with the fact that dimpled impressions on golf ball actually improved its trajectory and made it twice as quicker compared to a smoother one, a lot of research with the design philosophy of these impressions have been carried out. So computational fluid dynamics along with a lot of experimental approaches, they gave a lot of ideas and insights into the design theme of these dimples. Like carrying from orderly fashioned ones to some randomly oriented ones to some interstitial designs too, to designs varying in depths as well as sizes. So in a modern golf ball, these little dimples can vary from roughly 300 to 500 spread across the entire ball. So in actual sense, they add to the beauty of its aerodynamics. So now let's have a sneak peek into its aerodynamics. So what we have is a golf ball with dimples. Imagine it's interacting with the fluid, that's the air. So this blue line is the air which is undisturbed. It's far away from the vicinity of the ball. It's away from the ball. So the orange line, it shows the air which is 
in contact with this ball so because of this small tiny uh, small tiny turbulators turbulators or you can say uh, this small tiny dimples right so these are affecting these uh, the air which is uh, flowing close to it so because of this what happens the weak zone is smaller right so what is this wake zone wake zone is basically a negative pressure zone so for a better flight for a longer flight for a swifter movement of this ball we want this negative pressure zone to be very very less because if our ball is moving in this direction so if this negative pressure zone is small the opposing drag forces will be very very less and hence it can reach its destination properly with time uh, and can also win our golfer and also these tiny uh, dimples they also improve the lift the positive lift so hence it uh, you know affects the overall trajectory and is beneficial for us on contrast to it when you have a golf ball without dimples a smoother ball right so what happens this weak region right becomes larger at some cases even larger than the diameter of the ball so if that thing is happening then your drag forces will be much more higher that means the opposing forces will be much more higher than the force with which you are hitting so effectively it won't give a proper uh, you know it effectively it won't give a good result right it won't reach its destination properly it won't reach uh, where you want the ball to go right so this is why uh, this is the preliminary and a very basic uh, difference i told right how these dimples can affect uh, your uh, wake zones and in return affect the flight and the trajectory of the golf ball moving into the next and trying to understand the boundary layer separation how this thing relates here so basically when there is a fluid flow happening over the surface uh, the fluid which is flowing over here is all unaffected because of the presence of the surface but where the fluid which is here right because of this uh, boundary layer formation and all so it attaches up to a particular distance but it will have a tendency to reattach itself with a highly energized fluid which is undisturbed and is flowing here so after some distance what happens it tries to it tries to lose its energy and gets attached itself with this so when this phenomenon happens you can see the flow tries to separate or detach from this solid surface creating eddies turbulence and a higher wake zone so our main aim is to reattach this flow or re-energize this flow so how can we do this in case of a golf ball by this tiny turbulator so what these turbulators do is these turbulators act as small turbulent pockets so basically so here maybe the detachment of flow is happening right this happens over this particular uh space and then again further there is an attachment here again detachment over this spread again attachment and this whole thing if you integrate over this entire surface you can see a much more attached flow and a very small wake zone right and that's what we need so i guess uh, with this overall presentation we got a fair bit of idea now that why this golf balls do have dimples or turbulators and how they positively affect the aerodynamics as well as the game so next time when you watch a game of golf or even if you play a, ga a game yourself you will start respecting these tiny turbulators even more so that's all we had to present for this session uh, thank you all thank you for being such a lovely audience